Hello, thanks uh, for a very interesting panel discussion. We've been talking about uh, scenarios of uh, 2020. Uh, what are the challenging scenarios um, in mobile networks that would uh, drive the requirements for a new system like 5G? Uh, what we can't do with uh, 4G systems and you know, why do we need a new system like 5G uh, and the revolution instead of an evolution? Uh, thank you very much for this question because uh, our prediction is that the data will growing, which we have to uh, transport. So this means we have uh, to make the system more efficient. That first second, first point. The second point is that we will see in the future a lot of machine-to-machine -machine communication with low data rate, and the assumption are that we have to support 100 billion of machine-to-machine -machine communication. So we have to develop a system which can handle this. And that is uh, one challenge or two challenges of the 5G system. The second, third point is uh, we have to um, reduce uh, latency so that the machine for need communication can uh, get very fast response and access to the systems. And a fourth point is that we have to increase the reliability. So this means that the communication between the machines have a very safe situation. Thank you. Uh, can't we uh, achieve this with uh, by extending 4G systems instead of a 5G uh, new system? Uh, what disruptive technologies do you see in the 5G era? So, um, for the machine machine communication, we have to uh, develop a new uh, protocol, uh, a new signal systems in order to reduce the overhead, in order to uh, have very fast reaction of the system. That's, that's uh, for the machine-to-machine -machine communication. A uh, second point is that we have to make, in order to uh, fulfill the high data going, we have to make the system more efficiency, so this means we have to look how we can use the spectrum very efficiently. That are the two challenges which we have to consider, and a very short, very third system is to look how we can use the system very flexible. This means can can we develop a flexible and scalable uh, uh, spectrum uses so we can go from very low s frequency to very high frequency. That are the three challenges which we have to develop. Thank you very much.